So all the very heavy elements, like this one, Rutherfordium, have only been ever been made in very small quantities, usually by using a high um, voltage accelerator to accelerate atoms of some lighter element and banging them into a heavy target of something like uranium. And a very few um, atoms <coughs> of these elements are formed. It's rather like having a large bubble and banging a smaller bubble into it and suddenly you make a really wobbly bubble, a really big one, which may suddenly break apart. And Rutherfordium is named after Ernest Rutherford, who was a New Zealander who worked in Canada and then worked in Manchester and finally in Cambridge. And he was quite, well, an enormously famous scientist. He had 11 of his doctoral students became um, Nobel Prize winners in their own right. And he's still remembered by the so-called um, Rutherford Lectures, which are given in, in, in um, New Zealand, Australia, and in Canada. And last year, I was fortunate enough to be the Rutherford Lecturer in um, Canada. And there is a rumour in my wife's family, though nobody's quite sure what the connection is, that my wife's grandfather, who was a physicist, had some connection to, with Rutherford, but we've never been able to find out what it is. Rutherford was um, well known to believe that his students shouldn't work too long hours. And he insisted that his lab in Cambridge was closed at six o'clock and everybody should go home. And they still won 11 Nobel Prizes. <laughs>